Let's now meet our third superintendent. Carl Miller is passionate about schools being a place where all students feel safe and valued. And if you were to sit there and have one word that's connected with uh, Carl that is value. I want my students valued. I want my teachers valued. I want parents valued. And it is so critical. Uh, Carl is uh, not only uh, the superintendent of the Coronado Unified School District. He's been an educator in California since 1997. And that is near and dear to the classroom of the Future Foundation's heart, because that's when we were founded, in 1997. Let's give him also a round of applause. He is the 2022 Classroom of the Future Foundation Innovative Superintendent of the Year. Carl, it's all yours. This photo is actually from 1997. <laughs> Clearly don't look like that anymore. Um, speaking of 1997, and really, I think as educators, we all have to have a why. And um, to witness that, and I appreciate the efforts of National University. I got my special education credential added on here at National. But in 1997, I was considering, I was actually studying for the uh, LSAT to go to law school. And I took a job as an instructional assistant at a charter school supporting at-risk students. And my teacher that I was working under, the passion and the care that she had for her students, the connection that she had with her students, was an inspiration and one of the reasons why I got into public education and decided not to get into law. And after 20 years, I bumped into her this morning, Jeanette Perez. Whoa. Thank you, Jeanette. <laughs> so a brief rundown of Coronado Unified School District. We have 3,000 students. We are a TK through 12. Uh, we have um, a preschool program, four schools, two elementary, one middle, one high. Uh, I want to focus on some demographic information that many within our community may not know. 38% of our students are military connected. We are one stop of many in their journey through public education. The mobility, mobility rate is high. 15% of our students are interdistrict transfers. They come to Coronado Unified for our award-winning Coronado School of the Arts or some of our other specialized programs or their parents serve in the Navy and we have a special compact with neighboring districts that if mom or dad work on base, their children can attend our schools. 97% graduation rate, um, similar to what Ben shared, 78% college, 22% other. Understanding our mobility rate, understanding um, we had to establish a foundation of culture in our, in our district. And we came up with five years ago, every child every day deserves a connection a challenge and a champion, a connection to our school, what gets them out of bed in the morning, a challenge, whether that's academic, social, emotional, uh, a project that they're working on, but then a champion, a peer group, a coach, a teacher, someone that believes in them, that they feel, if I'm having a rough day, if I need guidance, if I need wisdom beyond mom and dad, that there's an adult in my care who cares about me. Who is my champion at school? We ask students frequently, who's your champion? As we all are keenly aware, mental health has become ubiquitous with the work we do as public educators. Uh, one in four uh, adults have some form of mental illness, one in five youth, and the, the claims are the pandemic will just increase those numbers. Many are wondering how are we gonna connect the need for public schools to take a more proactive approach with mental health supports and college and career readiness and career technical education. I believe strongly that what our students need in their back pocket to be competitive for the jobs that we don't know even exist yet, they need to have some of those soft skills, the people skills that many of our speakers this morning have addressed. Mental health awareness is essential for the well-being of our students while there are students, but also for the health of our communities. Teen mental health crisis, as stated, however, there's also mounting evidence that mental health awareness benefits the workplace. For those that have mental health literacy and can look past the stigma of mental health and engage in conversations with compassion, and with empathy to identify and support colleagues, students, 
family members, those in the community, they are going to have an advantage over those that do not. It's better for our world, it's better for your business, and it's better for society. 2019 national poll from the APA states, the stigma associated with mental health is a major challenge in the workplace. Forbes magazine said, including, including mental, mental health in your diversity and inclusions strategy is essential. How can we prioritize mental health literacy in our schools to meet the immediate needs of our students while building their capacity for future gainful employment. There is a program called Mental Health First Aid. It's a certificate program. It's eight hours. Similar to CPR certification, you get a card, you get certified as a mental health first aid practitioner. Identify, understand, and respond. Our ask. We're asking for $20,000 to facilitate mental health first aid training for all of our high school students in order to graduate citizens who are cert certified to support all those with whom they encounter. We believe an immediate impact on our school community and those transferable skills that will benefit them when they enter the workplace, when they go to a two or a four year university. In doing so, we'll foster that community of care and compassion while providing essential skills for our students, our communities, and your, our business leaders benefit. In addition to financial backing to get this program up and running, to certify staff on our campus to become trainers of this certificate program. We're also requesting partnerships with our local businesses to engage in presentations, trainings, and experiences between your staff and our students. These will be mutually beneficial and designed to build the capacity, agency, and soft skills of our students while promoting awareness and decreasing the stigma of mental health in your workspaces. They say in the Fortune 500 companies, the top two skills that they're looking for, communication and the soft skills to engage with colleagues, to think creatively, to consider and appreciate opposing perspectives, to be aware and to support. Improving mental health awareness can help employees better understand the gravity of these illnesses, which will lead to a workplace with more kind and empathic individuals. We believe with your support, we will graduate 275 students a year that are prepared to champion themselves, champion their neighbors, their family members, their friends, but also champion their colleagues in your workspaces. Public education does not just inform the public. Public education forms the public. We need more people who understand and can respond and refer to provide the supports critical to move beyond what we're all struggling with right now. Thank you for your time. Thank you.